What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Companies that you have to pay for to drive for. Yeah, that, that, that didn't make no sense to me either when I heard it. But let's get into it. Let's talk about it right quick. So I came across this video. And, um, and in the video... It, it, this was a corporate setting. They was in a Zoom call, and I guess the the person that was running the orientation was telling the candidates that in order to work for them, they had to pay a fifty dollar fee every two weeks. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Once you pass the assessment, you're able to work. Any questions thus far? What in the cotton picking plantation? What, what kind of what kind of hard shit could be? I'm sorry. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you ever all speaking? What what is the cotton plantation? This is Steven. This is Steven. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm sorry for that, guys. Any other reasonable questions? Oh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, does it? It could be a laptop that we could use, or it has to be like a PC. And of course, of course, that didn't go over well with the candidates. As a matter of fact, some of the candidates busted out laughing and they thought it was a joke. But the person that was actually running the orientation, they was like, nah, this ain't no joke, bro. This is for real. It's, it's a $50 fee. I'm not sure what it's called, <clears throat> but it's a $50 fee to, uh, to work for us. And so that got me to thinking. That got me to thinking about trucking, right? As always, because this is this is a trucking channel, right? At least that's what you guys want it to be anyway. So it got me to thinking. And I was like, you know what? Some companies does charge drivers to work there. Lockout man, what, what what do you mean? No, no, they don't. They, no, they don't. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Think about it. Think about it. Listen. Think about it. Now, my way, my way of thinking might not be your way of thinking, but just just hear me out, though. Just hear me out. So, when you get with a company, especially what I consider a black ops company or a fly by night company or any other company that offers leasing as a way of renting the truck, then you're paying the company to drive for them. Like, I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you mean? Let me, hold on now, hold on, hold on. Hold on now, just hear me out, hear me out so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So these companies out here, that's not not only these companies, but these fly by night guys that think they can make money in trucking. Right. All they got to do is lease that. I'm, I'm talking about the guys that don't have a CDL, but call themselves having a trucking company just by leasing the comp, uh, company truck by way of Penske. Right. Penske Enterprise, anywhere that you can that they can lease a, a semi truck. All right, so they'll lease a semi truck at one price, and then they'll lease it out to you guys for another. They'll lease it out to you guys to cover the leasing that they're paying for the uh for Penske. In other words, you guys is paying their truck note but you won't own the truck, they will. 
if they got some type of lease purchase agreement set up with with Penske or any other truck rental co- or truck leasing company, right? And that got me to thinking a little bit further out that I think that's how these mega carriers get away with their leasing as well. It might be different. Might be different. I I don't know. I don't know. I only tried it. I only tried it. Didn't like it. Threw the coffee out. This coffee smells like shit. I, I threw the coffee out because it tasted nasty to me. But but think about it. Think about it, guys. When y'all le- when when y'all sign on with these companies that's offering like maybe 75 cent, maybe a dollar, but maybe two dollars a mile, these black ops companies, which they are good for. And don't get me wrong, you can make money from these companies because basically that's what they're all about. They're not about they're not about your health. They're not about your sanity. They're not about making sure the driver is okay. They're not about uh protecting your CDLs. They're all about the money. And that's it. That's it. That's all with these black ops companies, some of them, not all of them, but that's what they're all about. And that's why I said before, if if you're going to lease, don't do it for the long for the long haul, just get in. If you're going to lease to learn, lease to learn. If you're going to lease to get in to get about 10k in about 2 months, do that and leave. Because I guarantee you they're going to turn around and start putting putting stipulations on you. Oh, you can't do this. Okay, you can't work here. You can't do that. You can't work here. You can't do this, that, and the third. You're fired. You're fired. It was a company that just got finished firing a couple because they refused to they refused to jeopardize their license. So you got to understand when you go into these black op companies, you got to make sure, you got to make sure that you know what you're getting into, man, because you never know. And like I said before, these companies, as you know, you're, you're paying them to drive for them. Not the other way around. Not, not the company. Not the company that pays you to drive for them. That's the way it's supposed to work. Fill out an application. Get approved. Do your do your uh, pre uh, pre employment uh, stuff. Get in, get a truck, drive for them, and you get a settlement at the end of the week. That's how it's supposed to work. Black and white, cut and dry. You run the miles for them for the week. You stay out for a week or two, and you get paid for it. Cut and dry. Cut and dry. But if you going in with these companies that's right off the rip, oh, well, you're renting the truck from us, okay? And then and then we'll 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 pay you. We'll pay you, but you gotta pay us to rent the truck. So in order to drive for us, you gotta rent the truck from us. And then you could drive for us. So you're paying the company to work for them. You're renting a truck. You're not buying the truck. You're not purchasing the truck. There's no options. There's no options of getting the truck after a, after a while, after a year, after three years, two years, five years. You're still renting the truck. Now, if you're good with that, okay. Okay, some people is good with that. Hey, I don't mind. I'll I'll rent the truck for about for about a cool one k a week, but I get paid like two three thousand dollars. We didn't even get far into the pay in that call, but that that's a whole nother conversation. My fault. Get back focus lockout. I'm I'm back. I'm focused. My fault. But um, but hey, like I said before, drivers, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm a driver. I've been driving out here for a good while. I learn. I see. I talk. I ask questions. That's what you guys should do. New drivers, y'all should take from us old drivers that been out here for a while. Listen to what we have to say. At least some of us that want to give you the information. 
like myself. I want to give you the information. That's why I do what I do. Cause I want to give you the information so you can, so, so you can make an informative decision. I've been out here. I've, I've been out here. I've been through it. There's a check mark to everything that happened in trucking with me happened in trucking with me. I experience, and now I just want to share my experience with you guys. And if you like what I do over here, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have anybody else that's interested in coming into the, that's coming into the uh, industry, but they, you know, they, they want to ask some questions. Now I'm not going to be like, yo, yeah, come on, jump in, get your CDL. Yada, yada, yada. No, you're going to have questions. You're going to, you're going to, you got some concerns. You're going to be worried. I'm not going to tell you to jump in and, 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 and do all that. I want to tell you to do your research, talk to people, make sure the people that you talk to is legitimately, legit, legitimate, legitimate. Yes. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> make sure that they're legitimate. Okay. I thought you'd might like some coffee. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Cream. No, thank you. I take it black like my man. All right. All right. This is lockout man talking to you, man. If y'all want to get at me, y'all know how to get at me. Everything is in the description below. Make sure you hook me up with some coffee. I really do appreciate it. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah.